Hey guys, this is Comic Uno in Comic Frontline, and it's topic time. Topic, 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 topic time. It's topic time. And today I'll be talking about the return of the Power Pack. So, uh, just recently this week, as I record this video today, uh, but this week, uh, it was announced that the Future Foundation is coming back, and we're going to see a lot of Power Pack members. And also, on the same day, it was announced that there's going to be a one-shot uh, for the original Power Pack creative team to write uh, a journey within that time uh, with the Power Pack in Kitty Pride and Wolverine. So, of course, I'm really excited about that as well. So, uh, yeah, Future Foundation. Uh, we are going to see Julie and Alex uh, specifically for the series and, and them leading the team, which is really cool. Obviously, Alex makes a lot of sense because he's been part of this team. But Julie? Very happy they added her. I, I'm a huge fan of Julie Power. She's been one of my favorite characters for a very long time. I, I love the Power Pack. She's my favorite member of the Power Pack. And she has a lot of story to tell, especially after a breakup with Carolina. What's up next with her? You know, what's going to happen? And uh, the Power Pack for me are characters that are great, but usually just show up every once in a while in the Marvel Universe. Maybe we'll have a kind of kitty uh, mini series with them or you'll see them in one or one story or one story arc uh, every once in a while with Marvel but never really fully an ongoing series at least in modern Marvel so it's really nice to have two characters of the power pack in an ongoing series written by Jeremy uh, uh, Whitley who did Unstop Unstoppable Wasp which I really enjoyed especially this the second volume I, I thought he did a great job at it so to see him take Taking over uh, these characters, especially these young characters, I think he was the perfect writer to do it. So very excited about that. So my question being, what is next for the Power Pack? You know, we don't have Katie and, and Jack. Is Are they going to be in the series? Are they going to end up in the series? And is this kind of like a test for maybe some Power Pack outside of, of Marvel Comics. Maybe they want a TV show or a movie. Maybe this is like kind of the stepping stone of, hey, hint, hint, we're going to see more Power Pack in the future. That might just be my hopes, but very excited about both titles and, and kind of seeing two different generations of the Power Pack, one being where they're actually still kids, and the Future Foundation seeing that Alex is in his 20s and Julie's a, a college student, and how these kids are adults now and how they're dealing with being adults and superheroes and in dealing with adult things and Alex you know lost a lot of time on earth so what is that going to be like with his uh, dynamic with his family and obviously especially Julie because she'll be in the series so a lot of cool questions and I'm super excited for Future Foundation and that one shot in August in general for Marvel and them celebrating uh, these these older heroes with the 80th anniversary and underrated heroes like the Power Pack who I feel like is one of the most underrated characters or teams of the Marvel Universe. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what would you like to see with the return of the Power Pack? Where do you think Jack and uh, Katie fit into this? What do you want to see with Julie? and Alex, let me know in the comments below. This is Comic Frontline. Uh, definitely go follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Go check out uh, my comic books like Father Like Daughter and They Call Her The Dancer. And also every Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time is Frontline Live where we discuss our favorite comics and comic book news. So be sure to check that out as well. Bye guys.